It's a Splunky Two Day Challenge for October the sixth, which means if we can, we'll go to jungle. The if we can part there encapsulates both. Um, I don't need to trigger that, do I? I'm worried about this mole though. Encapsulates both. No, I don't like that either. <laughs> oh god, slip. Both. Will we get to world two at all? And as we learned on a previous daily, sometimes you don't really get to choose which world you go to, <laughs> depending on how much time you've wasted. Uh, I guess I'll take that arrow, uh, but I'll throw it at this urn, which didn't work. Now I'm gonna get, it's going to get punched into me. That mole can't get through easily. Interesting, it doesn't punch arrows. That's good to know. But now I've got a rock, which is my favourite thing. Favourite thing within the subset of relatively useless things. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. So, uh, I can't get that without a rope. Not really worth a rope at this point. If I had a lot of ropes, I'd do it. This looks good. Gerbil, ruby, ghost. Unfortunately, it's a lot of carrying. And it's a uh, life or death <laughs> um, entrance and exit. I've done that jump many times, and it's been fine. I guess I'm I'm going down there once. Um, and I'll do gerbil first. Even if I'm doing all of them, I would do this first. That's the tricky part, actually, because if you slip there, you don't have a lot. I suppose you can grab onto the platform you just left if you slip there. Um, I don't really know which way I want to. Oh, I have to go this way. This is the way down. Uh, let me try and bake that skeleton. Doesn't seem to be a real one. Oh, Ooh, okay. And now I guess I throw a gerbil at spider. So earn a trap. Oh no, 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 no! Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I think they can take one hit from those because those do two damage. It's kind of like getting hit by a dart trap. Alright, time wise, we are not too bad. Two minutes, got a minute left. I think I can do the ghost turn. Very careful picking it up. There it is! Tricky jump's done. And let's use the ladder here to be safe. And then I guess just break it. Nothing else to do here. That's a good level 1. No damage. Over 10k. Uh, how am I going to do this? Oh god. Oh god! How have I not taken damage yet? I'm going to deal with this guy just so I've got more time to deal with this guy. Wow. Uh, that was not good play. That was just luck. <laughs> uh, so yeah, whipping up the top block from here, we know it's useful. Uh, but I've learned it's better if you face away from it. If you face towards it, your whip is extended for long enough that it's very hard not to whip both blocks. I don't need it in this case because there's a dart trap up there. But actually maybe I will do it because I can bake that dart trap pretty easily. Oh, let me try... well I can do this. But let me just test... you can jump from... nope. <laughs> I mean I think it's possible but I didn't do it. Oh, okay, maybe not. Uh, let's take, a, take an arrow. What was in there? I think a scorpion. Oh yeah, and the arrow's gone poisoned. Somebody just told me that that could happen today, and now it's happened. Oh, that's probably why they told me. They probably did the same thing. I mean, that's probably how they discovered it. Remember, dailies are the same for everyone. Okay, there's a jetpack. And it costs 20k, and there's a mole around, but I don't think it'll get to me anytime soon. I need 5k, and I need to come back up here. Uh, so, bit of a hustle. Does Yang, um, he gives you access to his place, which is full of, um, ooh, hello, a lot of money down there, I like that. Basically I get money from fulfilling Yang's turkey requirement, uh, but I've got enough anyway, I've got exactly 20k on the nose, and I will be able to do the ghost thing afterwards. So very happy to use a rope to go back to buy a jetpack, because after, once you've got a jetpack, ropes are much less of a big deal. Uh, so yeah, I've lost one. I think 
How am I doing for bombs? I've got all of them. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if it's worth bombing to get that pug. I'll certainly... Ooh, I don't know what happened there. Um, I will certainly put this here. Now I've got 40 seconds. I don't think I'm going to do it. Not because of time, but just because... Um, uh, I'm not 100% sure it's worth the bomb. There's risk plus the bomb cost. And overall, I feel like it's not uh, worth doing. So I had... it. The ghost came from the, the closest side then. I had a really clear-cut case. I think it might have been in a recorded run where the ghost did not come from the closest side. Uh, the timer expired. I was right next to the exit in a very similar situation like that, and the ghost came from the other side. So it doesn't seem to be... Uh, 100%. I don't know if it, if like, ghost urn is any different to... Okay, we're on the, the key in the chest. To, excuse me, the key and the chest level. So, let's hope for a key that is higher than the chest. Or as high. Uh, this is obviously hell. <laughs> and by hell, I mean an easily solvable situation. Oh, there's a key! Beautiful! What a nice daily. Uh, so... The tricky thing about the urn is there isn't a good way to sort of throw it down, so you, whatever else you're carrying you've got to throw. Um, ah, we have a problem. Uh, I should remember I have a jetpack, by the way. <laughs> I haven't been using that yet. Uh, this is behind the shop, which means there isn't going to be a route to it, I don't believe. Um, so I'll just, I'll just bomb here. It's the problem in that it cost us a bomb, but in a lot of other ways it's rather nice, because it... Um, it means we've done it already. So two things I've got to be worried about are um, chip damage from just like bumping into things and obviously falling on spikes. It's a classic way to die when you have um, jetpack. Okay, so obviously uh, there's a real problem potentially here, isn't there? <laughs> if this guy bounces towards me, he's going to break the turn. I, I would like to think he's going to fall down the the gap, but why risk it? Why not just make it happen? Ah, because it actually was already fired. Is there anything here I want? Um, pitcher's mitt I don't normally go for, but there is, there's an argument that with a pitcher's mitt, you effectively have, any time you find an arrow, you've got, it's, it's the same as having a bow. You can throw it through loads of things. I think it used to be... I'm not 100% sure how arrows used to work, but... Um, I feel like they broke on everything, and so throwing an arrow at something was always going to break the arrow. But these days, they go through anything that doesn't leave behind a body, and so it's quite effective. So I'm doing my shopping thinking while the game is paused. Um, uh, I'm leaning towards yes on the pictures met. I've, that's most of my money. Actually, no, I'm not going, because if I come across any bombs, I'll be sorry I did this. Um, maybe I'll go down and deal with this guy before... Oh my god! What's wrong with me? That wasn't even difficult. Maybe I'll go and deal with everything before I get the ghost turn. Although actually, time is not on my side, really. Oh my god, wow. Okay, despite the fact that I have taken some uh, damage, I th maybe I'm not doing the ghost turn. This is its just a lot of thorny situations here, just a lot of different elements going on. Oh, perfect. That's what I want. Uh, I won't risk that just yet. I'll come back for it if I have time. Priority right now is getting that to that exit without losing health. And I've done that. Uh, I'll pick this up just in case it's worth baiting that arrow. No, it's not. More likely to get hit by it falling on me than I am to accidentally trigger it. Okay. All done. Wait. I didn't do the ghost end today. No. And that was a decision, not a not forgetfulness. <laughs> okay, I see you. What? <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Come on! <laughs> the guy's having a nice little chat. There's no actual reason for me to do what I'm doing right now. Uh, let's let's push this because that will trigger the like, trap. And then there's a risk-free way of getting that. Um, I doubt I'm going to take the ghost, um, but I guess I'll pick it up. 
because it's the safest thing in the world to be carrying. Oh, for God's sake! Fucking urns! <laughs> Fuck this run. <laughs> I don't know why I chose that moment to experiment with whether or not you can whip a spider from above as it falls on you. I was just feeling very confident about the whips up. Uh, upward reach. Oh, that was extremely upsetting. Oh, lots of people have done it. And... <laughs> Surprisingly, uh, no amazing scores. Given that that was a jetpack run, that jetpack was very gettable. I guess if, I think I got one ghost urn before I got the jetpack, so it's not a total done deal that you would have enough money. Because if you didn't have a ghost urn, I think you'd struggle to get the 5k on that level. There is a ghost urn on that level, but then running away from the ghost after buying something is a bit scary. Yeah, I thought there'd be some higher scores, but of course, most of them did better than me. 